What is a chipset, you might ask? To which I might reply, a fantastic Sunday afternoon on the couch where you and all your buddies have all the selection of snacks you could possibly want. But that would be a silly answer because I'm pretty sure you meant your question in the context of technology, where the meaning is actually very different. A chipset acts as a communications hub and traffic control center on a motherboard, the backbone of a PC. It determines your motherboard's compatibility with everything from the CPU to storage devices and graphics cards, influences future system expansion capabilities, and even affects support for advanced features like overclocking, the process of turning up the speed of your system past manufacturer specifications. Traditionally, a chipset would consist of two components. The north bridge, which was connected directly to the CPU and handled high-speed communication between the CPU and performance-sensitive components like system memory and graphics cards, and the south bridge, which was connected to the north bridge and acted as a communication hub for less performance-sensitive components, storage devices, USB ports, onboard networking, sound chips, etc. So that's where the name came from. It quite literally means a set of chips or integrated circuits on a motherboard. But in modern computers, and we're going to use the latest and greatest Intel X99 chipset as our example today, the chipset is really very different. It still dictates CPU compatibility, so in this case it's designed to work with Core i7 5000 series 6-core and 8-core CPUs in the LGA 2011-3 socket, all of which require DDR4 memory and are compatible with PCI Express Gen 3 graphics cards and other expansion cards, but that's where the differences start to pop up. Memory. PCI Express expansion, and I mean, really, that's most of what used to be the Northbridge's job, and now it's built right into your shiny new CPU. So the X99 chip set is actually one chip that instead of Southbridge, Intel now calls a PCH, or Platform Controller, hub. This newer design has a couple of positive effects. First, with performance-sensitive components communicating directly with the CPU rather than through a north bridge, system latency is reduced and responsiveness is increased. This is great for performance enthusiasts and gamers who want to take full advantage of the up to 40 PCIe Gen 3 lanes that support up to four simultaneous graphics cards and other exotic configurations. And second, as traditionally less demanding components like hard drives and USB ports continue to increase in performance with X99 supporting up to 10 SATA 3 ports that can run SSDs instead of hard drives and 6 USB 3 ports that operate at about 10 times the throughput of USB 2, this allows those devices to make only one jump over the much higher performance DMI 2.0 interface rather than two jumps to communicate with the CPU, which again improves system performance. So, while the number of chips in the set has been reduced to only one, the functionality is still the same for X99 as it was for 875P, the high performance chipset back when I first got into PCs. Reduce potential bottlenecks and facilitate smooth communication between all components for trouble-free computer operation. Speaking of potential bottlenecks, you might be hitting a bottleneck in your career path because of a lack of knowledge. So how do you get past that? Lynda.com, the sponsor of today's episode. Lynda.com is an online education service that provides you with access to thousands of courses from industry experts in fields like photography, video editing, and programming. Two of our employees here at Linus Media Group took advantage of the awesome services that Lynda.com offers, and it helped contribute to the knowledge that they now use on a daily basis here at work. Learning on lynda.com is accessible to everyone and it's done on your own schedule, so there's no need to commit your evenings to that graphic design course at the local community college that meets at 7 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday and every Tuesday and Thursday. Lynda.com is affordable starting at only $25 per month and many universities and other educational institutions actually work with lynda.com to provide all of their students with access to this awesome site. So you students out there ask around, see if your program has access to lynda.com, and if not, then you should definitely head over to lynda.com slash techquickie because they're offering techquickie viewers a free seven-day trial of the service. So go sign up today. Thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment letting me know if you have suggestions for future Fastest Possibles. Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.